Have you also faced challenges using vinyl? While the cutting looks satisfying, the later process gets tedious of application. If these are your problems and you're looking for easy solutions, watch this video till the end. Hi everyone, I'm Anushree and today I'm going to show you how to cut and apply vinyl easily by using your Cricut Joy machine. It is one of the most compact and versatile machine by Cricut. It's super easy to use with no multiple buttons for various functions. Now I'm going to show you various kinds of vinyls. This one is a removable vinyl. It's a single color one but does come in multiple colors set also. This one is a permanent one and this is a smart iron-on. Now these are the tools which I use along with the vinyl. Now this one is a weeder and the scraper. These are the mats which will be needed when you're using the vinyl which is not smart. I will definitely explain what does this word smart means here. This one is a bigger pack and it's a permanent vinyl. This one is not a smart vinyl as you can see it does not read that. Now let's talk about the smart vinyl. This is machine specific. Let me open and show you how it is. It works. Now if you take it out you can see that there is a white uh, sides which are empty there and the size of this particular vinyl fits perfectly to the machine. You do not need a mat. The green mat here is not needed when you're using this vinyl. Straight away take it to the machine and fit it in the slot. And this is how these smart vinyls work. Now let's talk about these vinyls which are in the bigger rows. Now they do not read the word smart and that is a major difference. Now these are thinner than the smart vinyls. They do not have a white strong base and that is why they need this green mat or the other mats uh, by Cricut. Now this is the design space and let's make an Easter project today to understand these vinyls easily. I have chosen this project and I have bookmarked it. Let's take it to the canvas. It's looking pretty nice. I will be making a keychain around one here. Now let's see the design space a little bit more closely. This shows me that it has uh, six copies, six pages I would say, of different colors. Each design will tell you what color will be needed. That will be convenient to take out the cutouts and cut the vinyl as per your need. I had these scraps and I'm going to use these only for my project today. Now the first important thing when cutting vinyl is to put it at the right place as shown on the canvas. Use a prayer to adhere it strongly to the surface. The instructions on Cricut Design Space app are very easy to understand and just keep following those to get your project done easily and neatly as well. Make sure you're using the right size of mat. There are two mat sizes for Cricut Joy. One is 4.5 into 6.5 inches and the other one is 4.5 into 12 inches. If you do not use the right size of the mat, the machine will reject it. The machine does not have any separate buttons for functioning. Use your phone, tablet or computer to run the design space easily and following the instructions. On your device, you will be able to see everything what is running that moment and happening with the machine. Right from the mat size to the cutting and the completion of the project, everything will be shown there on the device. I have got all my cuts and now is the time to weed them. Use the weeder tool to do it easily, but it's a little sharp so be cautious while holding it and handling it. This does not take very long. Only the smaller cuts can take a bit longer, but uh, weeding the Cricut vinyls are pretty easy. Now you can see that all my cuts are with different colors and are unarranged. I took some time off screen to arrange them as per the design. Now I'm using transfer tape along with the scraper to burnish the whole of the design, the vinyl thing neatly on the transfer tape. It's time to transfer it on the main object that is my keychain acrylic round cut. Take the scraper again and burnish it again on the main object so that the vinyl gets transferred easily. Use a 45 degree angle and remove the transfer tape. It's that easy. Now it's time to remove the backside film also to see it the clear way. 
oh i'm really liking it it has come out so pretty with all the colors let me attach this keychain thing to it to complete it hope you enjoyed today's video do subscribe the channel to watch more such crafty videos see you again till then bye bye